Hey guys, how are you? I know a lot of you are photographers out there or just kind of getting into photography and want to get better. And of course, for photography, there's good old Photoshop and of course iPhoto, which comes with the Mac. But nowadays, Apple's pro photography application, Aperture, it's only $80 in the App Store. I used to use Aperture and I just jumped back on the Aperture bandwagon for this third release that's so inexpensive. So I want to give you a quick tour of the interface so that you're not too intimidated and you can start playing around. As you can see, this is the main interface of Aperture. Now the real cool thing about Aperture is that you can go from something as flat as this to something as vibrant and color corrected as this. So let's take a look around. Right here we have your library, which is very similar to iPhoto. You have albums, smart albums, your projects. Here you can connect to Facebook, Flickr, and have those images show up. And then right here you have your library, your faces, your places, things like that, the way you would in iPhoto as well. So then right here, you can hit metadata, now metadata can tell you all kinds of things about the image. This will be especially helpful if you have a digital SLR. You'll be able to see what camera the photo was taken with, you'll be able to see what it was taken in, the focal length, the ISO, aperture, and shutter speed, which is really helpful if you're trying to sort of start to understand what all those things can do for a photo. And then right here we have the adjustments section, which is probably going to be the part where you spend the most time. As you can see, there's all different kinds of stuff here. Um, but don't be intimidated at first because as you start to look, you'll see that these are things that you know. Sharpen, vignette, highlight, shadows, exposure. These are all basic things and if you don't understand them, then you just start to play around, see what they do to the image. So then right here you have presets. Now this is really cool. You can do things like auto enhance, you can adjust the exposure, and it'll give you a little preview on the side. Then right here you can adjust color, which can be a lot of fun. You all know I love toy camera effects. And you can do a lot of other things along those lines. Then adjustments is just quick brushes, which would allow you to do a quick skin smoothing. And then you can use that brush to clear up the skin if you wanted to. And as you can see, that already is making a nice airbrush effect. The other adjustments are retouching, cropping, all that crazy kind of stuff. It's just a matter of playing around with it and seeing what works well together. So then up here you have your important buttons like the inspector. Then you have your import button. You have a new button which allows you to create new projects, folders, all kinds of stuff like that. Then you have faces detection. You have keywords, which is really helpful if you want to organize your photos. You can organize them by keywords. So if you're looking for something with grass in it, for example, this might fall under that category. Then you can email, send your photos to MobileMe, Facebook, or Flickr, which is really helpful to have it built in. So then over here to the right, you have different viewing options. You can look at it as a browser split screen view. You can look at it in just viewer. You can go to your faces panel. You can go to your places panel. Now the other thing you may want to do is zoom in on, on a particular area and that's where this loop tool comes in. So let's say you want to color correct the eyes. Bam! You can. So then to get rid of that you just click the loop again. Now all the buttons down here these are some quick references to cropping, red eye correction, things like that. You can also adjust the metadata down here and you can stamp the metadata, things like that, just to organize a little bit better. But that's not super important. The real key is within the adjustments. So guys, that is Aperture 3. As always, if you have any specific questions, you can leave those in the comments below. Are any of you already Aperture users? Leave that in the comments below as well. The real thing that I love about Aperture is that it just simplifies photography and it really helps you to get a head start on understanding what shadows and highlights and color correction can really do to your photo to create a sort of style for you. If you guys want to see some of my photos, feel free to add me on Flickr and of course the other social networks, Facebook, Twitter. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can get future videos from me and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for all of your support. Goodbye. And OS X mousepad. We have the iSkin Pro Touch FX 